Hey guys, Curtis Alexander. Let's talk about the most common side effects you can see if you supplement with taurine. I'll also talk about things you can do to minimize those side effects. And then at the end of the video, I'll give you a couple uh, pointers on dosing for that. So let's hop right into it. So taurine, as you're probably aware, is a non-essential amino acid. You normally get it from foods, but it's become very popular to put in energy drinks and to use as a supplement. So um, let's talk about the side effects. These are in no particular order, but some of the more common ones we see are going to be stomach issues, GI issues. We can see everything from constipation to upset stomach. Uh, another one that I tend to see is headaches and migraines. I always ask people with any sort of history if they're taking, again, things like energy drinks, uh, that contain taurine, we can see an uptick in those headaches and migraines. Interestingly, we can see blood pressure problems. And I say interestingly because we can see it go both ways. Uh, a decrease in blood pressure as well as an increase. We don't really know how to predict what's going to happen. So it's something to keep in mind if you have any sort of heart issues. Speaking of heart issues, again, platelets, platelets, are basically one of the things that helps your blood clot up and become thicker. Again, like blood pressure, we can see an increase in platelet aggregation or that clotting. We can also see a decrease. I will note uh, the decrease in platelet aggregation um, can be seen sometimes in those energy drinks, and those energy drinks contain a lot of different substances. So kind of hard to tell if we can peg it down to taurine but if you have any sort of clotting issues, that kind of thing, something to keep an eye out for. Uh, we can see low blood sugar. So if you're diabetic, thyroid issues, definitely something to keep an eye out for. Allergic reactions are rare, but we do have case reports of them. So be aware of that. Uh, interestingly, there are some drug interactions. So make sure that you ask your pharmacist to just run an interaction check uh, against what you're currently taking. Uh, we can see insomnia and sleep problems. Again, this energy, energy drink issue with taurine, is it the taurine or is it some of the things that are going into the energy drinks? Um, but straight up taurine can cause the same issue. Finally, we have hyperactivity and nervousness. We can kind of lump eight and nine together a little bit, but those are kind of the uh, lay of the land as far as the side effects you can see. Now, let's talk about some things you can do to minimize them. First of all, you always want to start out, if you're going to supplement, start out with a lower dose. We'll talk about dose in a second. Um, if you begin to experience side effects, you can always drop that dose down. For some people, the timing of the dose matters a lot. For example, if you're getting insomnia, getting the sleep issues, you may be taking it too close to bedtime, maybe get it farther away from bedtime. Sometimes if people are getting the GI effects, try taking it with some food. That can be helpful. Again, we talked about getting a drug interaction check with your pharmacist. Make sure to do that. And I would encourage you, if you have blood pressure problems, if you have any kind of home monitor, anything like that, and I can put a link to, in the description to one, uh, make sure you're doing that because we have these blood pressure concerns with taurine. Now, real quickly, let's talk about dosing thoughts. Normally, we can see taurine supplementation anywhere from one and a half to six grams. That's 1,500 milligrams to 6,000 milligrams or one and a half to six grams uh, per day. That's usually in a divided dose. You don't want to take that all at once. And as far as safety and effectiveness, doses of up to six grams a day have been used for up to a year safely. Where we start to see some of these problems, we've had case reports, for example, of guys like bodybuilders who are taking 14, 15 grams a day, experiencing severe side effects, ending up in the hospital. You want to avoid that. Again, start at the low end just because it's a supplement doesn't mean you can't run into problems. We've also seen problems with people who are drinking a lot of these energy drinks, okay? So again, just start at the low end, work your way up. These are kind of the side effects. If you want some more natural options to do the things that taurine does, but without having to supplement, make sure to go to the link 
uh, my website, the link will be in the description. I go over a lot of natural things I personally do uh, that I come across that people have very good results with and share those. So make sure to go grab your free checklist there and get on my email list. Hope the video was helpful, you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.